Now, China's military officials will no longer be allowed to hold lavish banquets. The government is banning elaborate functions in a bid to fight corruption. Official events will no longer feature expensive liquor and dishes like this. The military is also ruling out red carpets, floral arrangements and welcome banners. Soldiers' marching parades and performances are also banned. Instead, officials will now only receive simple buffet-style meals during visits. Gordon Chang is the author of the book, The Coming Collapse of China. He joins us now live from Hong Kong. So 10 regulations in total drawn up by uh, the Central Military Commission. What do you make of this move? Do you think it sends a clear signal that the new leadership in China is serious about reigning in corruption? It gives a signal that the officials in China are serious about getting rid of the appearance of corruption and abuse of office. But it has really, this is just cosmetic. It doesn't deal with the fundamental issues. And I think the Chinese people will see through this. You know, of course, it's a step in the right direction, but it's a very small step. Mm. So you say it's part of an attempt to change the perception of China's rulers, and you say that people aren't, won't buy this. Why do you think that is? Why won't they buy this move? because Beijing can make these rules and they've made these rules in the past but they can't enforce them from the central government local officials may honor them for a month or two months but you know eventually local officials will go back to their old way of doing things and we'll have these lavish banquets and all the rest of it and then China's citizens are going to complain bitterly because they'll see the lavish banquets and they know that they're prohibited and they'll get even more angry about what they're seeing mm. so the underlying issue here is corruption and Xi Jinping, uh, the new leader, has repeatedly uh, promised to fight corruption. But, you know, can he realistically, given what you're saying, that this is a, you know, a deep-rooted problem in China's Communist Party, can he fight corruption given the divisions that exist within the Communist what? Party? Well, he can't fight it effectively. Every new Chinese leader always says he will fight corruption. But there have been anti-corruption campaigns in the People's Republic going back to 1951, just two years after the founding of the country. And, and corruption has just gotten worse and worse and worse over time. And, and that really is the problem. They need to have an accountable political system, and the Communist Party just won't permit that. So this is not just this is not a, 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 an attempt to deal with corruption. It's an attempt to deal deal with just the surface issues of what the Chinese people see. Mm. Uh, so th there's been obviously a lot of social anger about this. We, we've seen in the lead up to, to the leadership change in the Communist Party, the scandals and so on. Uh, you know, how do you think, do you think this has greatly damaged the image of the Communist Party in China vis-a-vis -vis the people? Well, well, certainly this year there's been a series of these corruption scandals. There have been all sorts of lurid stories that have sort of entertained the Chinese people. And this has actually delegitimized the Communist Party. And, and that's why we see all of these very, very corrosive statements that people have been making on Weibo, which is the, the Twitter-like microblogging service. Chinese people are very upset about this. And that's why Xi Jinping has had to do something, at least to deal with the appearance of it. Um, and I think that this is just going to get worse and worse over time. We've seen these anti-corruption campaigns and, and these, these rules have, we've seen a number of sets of rules going back two or three years. They don't really do good, uh, do any good in the long run. All right. Thanks for your thoughts. That's Gordon Chang, author of The Coming Collapse of China Live uh, from Hong Kong with us. Thanks for your time.